Well, hello everybody. We're looking at a shock, an air shock, off from a 2003 Bonneville. This is a Pontiac. And these air shocks are no longer holding air. So the reservoir inside somewhere is leaking. So the car bounces pretty badly after, when you go over dips or potholes. So we're going to replace this, this shock. Um, they do make a direct replacement. You can hook this air hose right back into the direct replacement or they make a coil over if you want to get rid of the air system all together because sometimes the compressors do go out in these old machines and it's easier just to put the coil over on. But what we're going to do is we're going to find this. There's two bolts down here and on the bottom side they run a 10 millimeter. These studs come out the bottom. So we're going to take those studs out the bottom and then up here I'm going to get in the trunk and I'm going to show you where you get to that 15 millimeter nut to take off the top of the shock. All right, I'm in the trunk now. And in the trunk off to the side here over the wheel opening, you can see this big washer. And on inside that big washer is a 15 millimeter nut. You loosen that 15 millimeter nut, the stud of the shock comes up through that. You take that off and then the, the shock will fall down. All right, here you can see we got everything unstrapped. We got the shock out. We're going to leave the air hose, hoping that the air compressor is still good. That should be a direct replacement with the new shock. We got the studs out. We're going to clean this up with wire brush down in here. And then since I got it all tore apart, I thought a great time to put new brakes on it too. The brake pads were shot. The rotor was original. Um, so it's very old and beyond turning so we're going to go ahead and replace that rotor as well so we're going to have all brand new parts and brakes back here for the suspension thank you for watching another episode with jimmy hot rod i hope this helped you out if you have any questions go ahead and email me at jimmyhotrod71 at gmail.com and i'll get back with you as soon as i can thanks for watching